welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ivy kings thank you again for joining me if you're new here i'm so glad you clicked on the play button <laughs> please let's become friends subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell and every time i post a video you'll be the first person to view it <laughs> okay uh and if you're returning boy do i love you <laughs> okay today i'm going to be sharing with you Top three things I do like to protect my peace. Now I need you to listen to something that's a game changer. Play that shit. Also just to ensure that I don't have toxic, toxic, toxicity, <laughs> toxicity, toxicity. Hmm. My God, I'm passing a savior. <laughs> I don't have toxic. Uh, just that I don't have toxic energy around me. Yeah. Let's get into it. Number one pick up on energy energy speaks louder than words like people may think that maybe i tend to overthink things like maybe it doesn't really mean anything if the person doesn't say it it doesn't really mean anything but because of that kind of mentality which i have i don't know if it's positive or if it's a good thing or a bad thing i don't really care but because of that kind of mentality i have like, i pick up on things like really 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 easily even no matter how minute they are so I make sure I protect my space, things around me. I, I make sure I have positive vibes all the time. Like I don't, I don't allow negativity. Like in people I follow on Instagram, like the kind of music I even listen to, the kind of friends I keep around me, because this could affect you. It could actually make you or break you based on what you surround yourself with. Another thing I do, number two, which I do, is I tend to protect my peace. It will take a while for me to be upset, like for me to get super, super angry. So when it actually happens, you just know that it has been like weeks or months or years of <laughs> things building up. Maybe because just the way I say I pick up on things, but I don't really act on it because I don't know if it's coming from a good, maybe person doesn't know or anything, just like previously. So I ensure like, I surround myself with positive energy so maybe for example yeah someone is trying to upset me like I will just smile about it and leave the situation even if it's like at work or at school I just try to think of happy thoughts <laughs> yeah breathe in breathe out and let it go but if like it has been piling up and piling up and piling up and piling up oh my gosh I can just scream out <laughs> yeah so i make sure i protect my peace at all costs like if i see something about to upset me i'll just I'll move along i leave the situation i remove myself from the situation last thing i do okay a lot of people might think this is a, a bit petty or oh uh, like a lot of people find this very petty it's actually a very petty thing but yes, I tend not to get mad, I tend to get even. Yes, I will explain. For example, someone keeps stepping on your toes. Let's have this very literal, right? Someone is stepping on your toes, literally stepping on your toes, stepping on and you're like, mm, please don't step on my toes, <laughs> I don't like it. And the person keeps stepping on your toes. What will I do? I will step on your toes, literally. Do you get what I mean? When the person sees how it hurts, I think the person won't do it anymore this is not about revenge to be very honest so basically just using their own logic for them just not in like not like to be wicked or anything no it's not revenge another example i'll give i'm a christian yeah yes and i, I apply this principle what would jesus do so i try to look for a bible passage where something like this has happened and then try to apply it to my own life because i feel like the bible is like a manual and then everything that's happened there's nothing new happening ever again on earth everything has happened before so i try to look for a situation similar and try to apply it to my life basically for example when uh jesus was on top of, when uh jesus was fasting right and the devil came to him during the 40 days 49 that situation right yes and then the devil took him on top of a mountain I said quoting scriptures to him what did jesus do he quoted scriptures back to him i don't know a lot 
I don't know if this like really applies in this situation. Actually, if you, I don't know what you think about this, tell me your opinions. I want to know what you think about actually this number three, this don't get mad but get even situation. Yes, in the comment section. Let us discuss this. But that's how I do. That's what I do, like to make sure that I don't have toxic energy around me. To be very honest, those are the three things I do. You could apply it in your life. 2020 is very short. We don't need time, or we don't have time for toxic energy. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please share it if you also like it. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed yet. If you have not subscribed, what are you doing? Why stop sleeping on a bicycle? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and yes, follow me on my social media handles. They're down below. And also follow Moses Visuals, who is also the commentator on this video. His description or his details are in the description box below. Till I come your way again. Au revoir. Bye.